kasama natin ang alluring accountant ng Australia. Please welcome everyone, Alyssa. Hello, Alyssa. Alyssa is in the house. Hi, Hello. Alyssa. <laughs> You, you know what, Alisa? Melai, my my partner Melai, is very excited to talk to you. Really? I am excited too. Oh my god. Alisa, <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm not excited. Chatting lang, Alisa. Chatting lang, Alisa. Alisa, chatting lang. Hello, Alisa. Can you say hi to our PBB community? They're very excited to watch you. What? Hi community, na miss ko kayo. Um, medyo matagal na rin yung last time nag-chat. Nasa bahay ako ni Quirin. But unfortunately, I've left the house. Pero sana, um, tuloy pa rin yung pag-support niyo. Kasi miss ko talaga kayo. And I hope you all are doing well today. Grabe, ang ganda ni Alisa. Uy, sa loob at labas ng bahay ni Quirin. Yes, partner. De, yes, Alisa. We just wanna ask. Um, We're gonna go straight to our questions. Because we want your reactions based doon sa nagaganap sa loob ng bahay ni Kuya. Because, di ba, ang daming violations. And right now, meron silang punishment ng mga housemates. So what can you say? What, what is your reaction? I mean, first of all, ito lang yung siguro yung bright side ng pag-i-evict ko. Ito hindi ko naabutan yung violation punishment. Kasi... <laughs> Yung pangalawang violation punishment, which were the spoons, sobrang hirap talaga. I was like, I wanted to cry. I literally wanted to die. Kasi five hours na sobrang sakit na talaga. Tapos, iniisip nga namin nung nandun pa ako sa bahay na ang tagal na bago pa mag-violation punishment ulit. So, we were thinking na iniipon talaga ni Kuya lahat ng violations para maging mahirap talaga yung next punishment. Um, and ito na nga nangyayari na sa house. I'm just grateful na wala ako doon kasi I probably wouldn't have survived that, to be honest. Um, so, sana lang, nilalakasan nila yung loob nila kasi I know that it's going to be painful. Like, metaphorically and metaphorically. So, ito yung naging, parang for you, ito yung naging advantage, Eliza. But, you know what, Eliza, we just want to inform you that sa lahat ng housemates, kao ang may pinakamaraming valuation, violation na meron kang 14 Violation. Oh, so, feeling ko, nung ako, feeling ko stress na stress ko sa akin talaga. Na feel ko naman 'yun. Pero nung mga times na nandiyan pa ako, alam ko talaga na malamang sa malamang ako yung pinakamataas sa violation. Pero hindi ko naisip na si Gian yung next. Akala ko si uh, Gian. Yes, si oh Gian. And then mamay i-reveal namin kung ilan yung mga violations ng ibang housemates. But don't say na stress na stress sa si Kuya dahil love na love kayong lahat ni Kuya. Pantay ang pagmamahal sa inyo ni Big Brother. And talagang magkakaroon ng talaga. Bakit ba? Ito kasi pangatlong bes na nagbigay ng punishment si Kuya ng dahil sa mga violations ninyo. Bakit nga ba madalas kayong magkaroon ng violation? Sa tingin mo... Hobby nila yan, partner. <laughs> it's, it's a hobby? <laughs> nung nung pa ako sa bahay, parang, eh, parang part na siya ng daily routine namin na may nababuzzer. Kasi hindi ko alam kung bakit hindi, <laughs> hindi talaga namin mapigilan magka-violation. I think yung pinaka, this is my, my guess, pero I think yung pinaka common violation sa bahay is yung may mga bagay na hindi dapat pag-usapan sa lang ng bahay ni Kuya. Pero yun yung favorite topic namin. Tapos ah. ang lahat ng mga lang yung gulat lagi. It's really funny if you see it kasi Usually, may hodl kami. So, nagkukumpulan. Tapos, umano na yung buzzer. As in, parang, they drop like flies. So, it's really fun to see. <laughs> yun yung pinaka-common na violation. Tapos, yung second naman, it's like, talk without lapel. Um, okay. Hindi ko rin talaga alam. Kasi, I was really guilty of that. Um, without lapel. Pero, personally, feeling ko, hindi yun yung violation na pinaka-marami sa akin. What do you think? Which is really embarrassed. Like, really embarrassed. But what can you do? What can you do? Sumuko na lang siya partner. Talaga ako eh. No, this one naman, speaking of, because you mentioned um, Gian, um, isa ka sa mga naging ate, the, the sister of Gian and Andrea. How was yeah. that? How was that friendship? And how... How did it start? And I wish na sana kahit hindi, kumbaga sana magkakasama pa rin kayo hanggang ngayon. But I'm sure it's gonna go um, beyond 
staying yeah. inside PBB house, di ba? Tell us um, something about that. Yun actually, yung dynamic namin tayo ni Gian. If because if you look at our backgrounds and if you look at us, we're all very different. Like, mm. First of all, have an 11 year gap, Gian and I. So mm. like, most the normal circumstances, I don't think I would even have like looked at our general direction because it's sobrang iba talaga kami. Like sobrang bata niya. Tapos she's from Sarangani. I've never even been there. It's just like such a and I don't think I know anyone from Sarangani. Tapos um Andrea then, but I think I mean Andrea, if we were the same age, we probably would have been in the same group of friends. So come in Andrea. But like if you just add Gian to us, it's like it doesn't make sense. It makes so much sense to magkasama na kami. And I think nakit nakita niya naman and nakita naman ng community natin na pag magkakasama kami, Gian drives the whole show. Parang siya talaga yung pinakinga, siya <laughs> talagang yung bosses, siya pinakamalakas mga asatas, kami pa yung mag-a-adjust. As in, wala <laughs> kasi, um, apparently, ganun na siya from day one. Kahit hindi ko sila na day one, because I think I joined them day four of the whole journey. Um, ganun din talaga siya sa akin. As in, hindi siya nangyak, kahit alam niya ako yung pinakamatanda sa bahay na. So, uh-huh. <laughs> But um, it was it was very humbling then to like be friends with someone like Gian and be friends with someone like Andrea. Because even though na alaki ng ikap ni, I learned so much from them. I think I admire them so much. I look up to them. So sobrang nakakatuwai lang talaga. Hoy, talagang siyan talaga ang inaabangan din namin ang friendship ninyo. Lalo na ang English niyo din talaga nila, Andrea. But then, <laughs> what can you say naman? Ano ang masasabi mo sa namumuong panakanakang ulan? Parang pag ganoon sa namumuo, no? hindi. Ano ang masasabi mo sa namumuong pag-iibigan ni Ralph at ni Gail? Oh my god. Oh my god. I am so excited about that kasi Ralph is one of my best mates in the house. I think him and Kobe are like my best guy mates in the house. Sobrang close talaga kami ni Ralph. And actually, yung, yung team namin was ako, G, and Andrea, Ralph, and Kobe. So like, we were really tight nung nandun sa ako sa bahay. And si Ralph, ang sobrang kapal yung mukha niya sa aming apat. As in, hindi ko nahihiya. As in, alam mo yung mga ginagawa niyang kukusin niya yung banana fritters niya ng iwando, tapos mambukirao siya after. Hindi talaga siya nahihiya. As in, kung ano yung sabi niya sa amin. Pero pagdating kay Gail, naminig talaga siya. As in, it was so funny. Kasi, <laughs> wala talaga siyang masasabi. Parang, and like, Ralph, kasi, he's one of those people na hindi niya talaga matatago sa mukha niya. So, pag, pag gobsmack siya, pag wala talaga siyang masabi, you could see it. And like, his body language with Gail. And it was so, so cute to see kasi, I think he told me at one point that like, he's really, like, interested in Gail. Like, he had a big crush on Gail. But it's just Hi. such a si Gay last week and then so I think um, I really think they look cute together and um, I hope that they can pursue it sa labas ng bahay ni Kuya kasi I'd like to know Oh, sana mo pursue talaga yan, no? Di ba, partner? Yes. So, sobrang kami excited ko ano pa yung mga pwedeng ma- mangyayari more than friendship. And I'm sure nag- yeah. nagkaka- nagkakagulo ang ating community sa mga ganyang mga kwento. Pero this one, this time, we, we want to ask you, Alisa, for you, sino sa tingin mo yung deserving maging part ng Big Four? Okay. Um... I want to say na walang bias to, but then again, I think kahit sino naman magsabi ng big four nila, there's still a little bit of bias. Um, pero ito, I'll try to be as like, I'll try to justify it as much as I can, obviously. Um, una, Gian Saga. Um, oh. And I just, she just has like a special place in my heart. Like I just want her to go really, really far in life. And I think she can do it. I, I know she can do it. So Gian. Um, next is Ralph. Um, sobrang na-amaze na kay Ralph. I mean, they have a five-year age. Pero ang dami niya nang pinagdaanan. Like, if you compare, if I compare our lives, very different. And yung mga nagawa niya nung, nung ganong age, I wouldn't have been able to have done it nung ganon ako. So, na, sobrang nakaka-amaze. And I think sobrang deserving din ni Ralph. Um, next one is Andrea. Um, for the same reason, um, I si Andrea, pero sobrang galing niya talaga and sobrang talented and Andrea's really genuine. Um, kung ano yung nakikita niyo sa 
sa kanya, yun talaga siya. I just love Andrea. I think I think she's my twin flame, really. Like, we're very similar. We're very alike. So, um, I think she's very disturbing. Tapos, yung pang sa last spot, um, I was actually talking between two people. Kasi, sobrang hirap talaga pumili sa mga housemates niyan. Kasi, lalo na nakatagal ko na silang nakasama. And, parang mas nakilala ko sila. And, nalaman ko kung ano yung strength and weaknesses nila. And, kung ano talaga yung pinaglaban nila. So, medyo na yung pa rin ako. But, ultimately, I choose Corby. Corby is like one of the nicest in the house. In like, hands down, genuinely nice. Like, so pure. And, um... We have a 10-year age gap, pero si Kobe, ito siya sa mga nakakausap ko, like, I can talk to him anytime about anything. He's very mature for his age, and sobrang-sobrang genuine talaga. So, yun yung big perk ko. But, tingit ko lang nung sobrang dali lang. Not Kobe, Leo Ferdin talaga. I love Leo oh. Ferdin. Sobrang dali nung batang yun. 21 pa lang siya, ako 27 na. Pero kung tingit-tingit ko siya, lalo na sa kitchen, parang napapaisip ako na, ano ako nag-survive na wala si Leo for the boy ko kasi parang hindi ko alam kung ano yung gumagawa. So, deserving din talaga si Leo for. So, yeah. Pero alam mo, nasabi mo kanina, Alisa, na you want a, there have a, hindi ko na alam. Basta merong, merong, merong talagang parte ng puso sa iyo si Gian na mahal na mahal mo talaga si Gian. I hope you can visit Sarangani because Sarangani is is near on my place in Jensen. And Sarangani has so many white sand resorts. So the best. Sana mapuntahan mo yan with Gian na makapagbanding kayo dun sa lahat ng housemates. Okay? Yeah. I I will. I'm sure. I'll make sure of it. Na mabibisit ko ang, ang Sarangani. Aww. Yeah. Ay, yeah. Ay, Pero quick lang, Alisa. Just, yes, um... Any, any, anyone you want to say thanks to? Ito, this is your yes. chance for for all your supporters to to reach out to them. Oh my God! So, sasabihin ko lang ng sobrang quick. Nung nakin opa ko ng bahay ni Kuya, the idea, the concept of people supporting me is like so insane. Because may mga tao talaga na hindi ko pa nakikilala, and they support me, and they love me, and they put so much time and effort in, and I, that just blows my mind. I don't know why. I really don't know what I did to the service. Pero sobrang, sobrang thank you sa lahat ng sumuport sa akin sa journey ko sa bahay ni Kuya, sa community, sa content. Sobrang thank you sa inyo kasi naging malaking part din talaga kayo sa bahay ni Kuya. Um, I really can't put it to words. Um, I hope that I get to meet you guys one day soon pag may ayos na yung mundo. Pero sobrang, sobrang thank you sa inyo. Tapos nung kapalabas ko lang, I found out na merong kami sa So sobrang thank you, thank you din talaga sa inyo. Um, This is such a crazy thing to me na merong grupo ng tao na ganito yung pinapakita ng appreciation sa akin. Um, I love every single one of you to bid. Um, sa Team Core and sa um, Alyssa Exalo Official. Sobrang thank you talaga sa inyo lahat. Hindi ko na makabisado kasi sobrang overwhelmed pa rin sa, sa outside world. But yun nga, I hope that you guys know that I appreciate every single one of you and I love you all and sana naging proud kayo sa mga Yeah, and Alisa, thank you sa pag nosebleed. Ito na nga. Charing <laughs> lang, charing lang, Alisa. Alisa, you know what? Then... Malayo ang mararating mo dito in the show business because marami kang pinakita sa loob ng bahay ni Kuya talaga. Napawaw kami and talagang you did a great job sa loob ng bahay ni Kuya. Yes, and if there's something that I really appreciate nung na napapanood natin sa Elisa is because she really um she really has this energy na sinasabi na you know, you have to respect women. You have to, you know, you have to um, give the uh, the what people deserve. Diba? The respect they deserve. So, thank you very much for sharing that part of you, Elisa sa amin. And maraming maraming salamat dahil nakasama ka namin ngayong hapon. And community, huwag kalimutan kumunek mamayang gabi dahil makakasama din ni Bianca at ni Robbie si Alisa sa PBB Connect mamayang gabi. Yes, thank you so much thank Alisa. Thank you Alisa. Sana makasama ka namin dito sa mga shows ng ABS at sa magandang buhay. Take care. Have a nice day Alisa. You too. Bye. 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 
Part so, 3, ginaya mo yung bye niya doon. Bye! Um, uh, alam mo, bye ko is bye na sa akin. Bye! Ganun pala para social. Bye! Mamaya mag-bye ako sa ating mga pipilit ko. But, 